Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. In the last episode we cooked some meat, we cooked some meat to a fine degree of cookery or cooking ability. We fought some guys, some random guys in pursuit of finding out who killed Bishop and we also fought Kimi Hao who was a, a random university student who challenged us for our ranking position. And we, we didn't kill her, but we knocked her out. And we, we, we defended our rank, I guess. So, really, good episode. Quite a long episode. Fucked up the fight a bit. But other than that, you know, you know that's, not, that's not what goes in the history books. It shows that we've done the thing. Not that we fucked up the thing on the way. Let's go to this, which is a Kashik point. We are. We were told last episode that an Akashic point is a is a realm between this world and the ethereal world, or some bullshit like that. So let's find out exactly what that means and what and exactly what that's going to mean for this episode, which is going to be very strange. But I'm going to enjoy it anyway. It's going to be. We haven't really had a normal boss fight yet. I don't think we skipped through anything. Don't think we did. Even though there was a button which said skip, because I was pressing B because I wanted the star to spin. I didn't expect there to be a cutscene right away, or one of these right away, of nothing really happening right away, you know. I don't really mind. Slice through the, the blockade like it's not even there. Okay. You can see where this fight- you can see where this, this chapter's going already. Guys with chainsaws, you kidding me? That's insane. Oh, he's got a- he, he's got a- he's got a double swing. That's fine. Oh, and there's a guy behind me. Why are the enemies blue squares? <laughs> if I might- if I just ask that question. Because it's a very important question to ask. Um, not all of them have chainsaws. What is a doorway curtain? I guess a doorway curtain. Can I actually fight the guy? I wanted to press the B button on the guy. I guess a doorway curtain is something in our apartment. Why are there so many people here with chainsaws? Are you actually trying to be a horror film? Because you're doing the you're doing the horror film bit very nicely. So maybe uh, maybe slow down the horror bit horror film bit for a second and let me kill this guy because he's kind of in the way and not really he doesn't have a chainsaw. Want to do one of these and do lots of damage to everybody else around me. In fact, enough damage to everyone around me that I I slow down the Wii U considerably uh, and also kill everybody around me. So that's nice. Let's just go up this horror pathway. It's a little bit atmospheric in a scary way. You're just what are, what are you even doing? It looked like you dropped something. Clearly, you're not really that invested in the acts of guarding this. Who do you even work for? What what are you? Who are you people? Do you want like a place to stay? I've probably got a spare bed. You can you can sleep on the sofa if you like. Um, that guy does that. It's amazing the power of the wrestling moves. You can do that much damage to somebody with so much health. It's insane. Kill everybody working on it. I'm I'm doing I'm doing the wrestling. Doing the wrestling. Doing a fine job with the wrestling. Oh yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Nobody else. Throat's still a bit sore. Slice through them like they're not even there. Oh yeah. Why were they even there? Uh, they don't even need to be there. Is this a high stance? It is- No, it's not a high- It's kind of a high stance. I'm- I'm still not sure about how the game handles the stance. Were you eating pizza? Is that exactly what you were doing? I mean, that's fine. You can do that. Oh, and chainsaws. Oh, and chainsaws. And axes and chainsaws. We're now in a horror film. That's fine. I recently got done playing, um, Resident Evil 7, which was amazing and- and, uh, a little bit- a little bit strange, a little bit sort of oddly camp, but I guess it's Resident Evil. It's kind of the- the motive that, that defines Resident Evil, that it's horror, but also a little bit more sort of B-horror film, in a way. Where it's scary, but also stupid in a lot of places, which I appreciate. Not a lot of series really have that stance towards horror. Everyone's just got- can I use this? No, not yet. My- my tiger is still not engorged enough, that is very disappointing. Do one of those, I think. Make him go over our shoulder, which seems very tricky. Oh, no, dodge out of the way. And then dodge, just don't even dodge. Don't even dodge. Don't even need to. Resident Evil 7 was a lot of fun. So if you're skeptical of how good or otherwise it would be, it was actually really good. So I'd like more puzzles. I think there's some DLC for that game, which has some really good puzzles in it. So I might think about doing that. I actually thought briefly that maybe I could play Resident Evil 7 on this channel at some point, but then I'd just be like everybody else doing horror games. And I'd have to have a face cam. Do you want to look at my face? While watching, a, while playing a video game, I don't want to look at my face in editing. So I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe that seems like a really bad idea. You're gonna be photogenic to do that. I am. I am. I have a face like a block of clay. So a, an un, an unsculpted block of clay. Everyone's just got so much health. It's taking a very long time. I'm gonna kick you in the face and get some get some wrestling moves, which are effectively insta kills. Maybe just do a charge attack. 
Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. It does quite a lot of damage. Not as much as I would like, and you can't really go through a combo with it, so... Um, maybe not the best move in the world, but it's not bad. Surely if you've got this chainsaw as well, just reading more into this than perhaps I need to, but if you've got this chainsaw which you're using a lot among your friends, give you the wrestling moves. Give him the wrestling moves! Why don't that not work? I want to do the wrestling moves. <laughs> you robbed me of a wrestling move game. Oh, I'm not having that. Not having that at all. Give me more of the wrestling moves. Especially this guy's got so much goddamn health. Just keep kicking him in the face. Keep kicking him in the face. Okay. That's fine. My, my, my phone's gone to sleep. I can't see how far from the episode we are and how long we've spent fighting really fat guys with chainsaws and axes and shit. I don't know. Taking so long to die. Everyone's taking so long to die. Why can't I... Wrestling moves were doing really well earlier. Now I can't use any of them, so... I guess that's an interesting occupational hazard. Oh, the bar. The bar has come a little bit late, but I won't mind. And the Wii U's are just kind of struggling. Oh, yeah. You don't know, You don't even know. It really was the only thing that was going to get us out of here quickly, so I have to be thankful for that. Anyone else? Everyone else is dead. That is lovely. Thank you very much. Just go around here getting... Getting ecstasy. Ecstasy is at max. Could I not use it before? Was it not at max? It looks exactly the same as what it was when I tried to use it before. So, ah, oh, I oh, there's cash everywhere. Oh, burping. Coffee is 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 the language of the soul or something. We're not quite at the boss fight yet. Reasonably long level beforehand, but that's okay. It's getting slightly more atmospheric. It's like we're going into some kind of horror setting. That's why I brought up Resident Evil Seven. Oh, I can hear. Is that a, it's like funky chanting choirs. Everyone here is eating pizza. That's lovely. A little bit weird and a little bit stupid and a little bit uh, towards a stereotype that the, the guys with large HP have to be fat and, and uh, slow moving, I guess. So it's, it's, it's reinforcing a stereotype or something, I guess. Uh, just keep dodging. Keep dodging. Use, use the button and then just absolutely wreck house. Because it will take a long time because they have lots of health. But I'll just keep pressing the A button. This is almost like a Sonic level where you hold down a direction and you go through the whole level. That's almost what that feels like, but I kind of appreciate that because sometimes when you've got so many bad guys with so much health, you want a button you can press where they just, after which they just die really quickly. So I appreciate that. Why is there, why are there rocks? There were rocks. I didn't imagine that. There were definitely rocks. Definitely all rocks. Who's throwing rocks down from up there? Not, a, I don't appreciate it. Still looking for more door curtains, or at the very least a, a UAA collection thing, because I I want to collect them all. It's becoming a, an obsession now. My ecstasy, ecstasy gauge is very large. It's very gorge. My tiger is ready to pounce or something. Ladies, yeah, I don't know. It's it all sounds weird to me. It all sounds dumb and stupid and shit. Let me just do this again because it worked so well the last time, and we seem to get them fairly, very, fairly periodically. So maybe this is just how we use it and just keep doing this. And then have a finisher at the end, and then everybody's dead again. Or most of them are dead again. There are, there are still more people. I'll, I'll do as much damage as I can by ramming the, spamming the A button. Oh, chainsaws. Chainsaws are the, are the snap back to reality that you wish you didn't have to worry about. Were there always this many fat people in this level? Because I don't remember it being this much of a, uh, a, a, a task, I guess. This much of a, an effort to go through it. To the fact that just so many people with so much health. And so much damage being put out by me, but it's still not being enough. I don't always remember that. Uh, th th then again, of the things you can remember about this game, the, the, the levels preceding a boss fight aren't really that important or memorable or noteworthy. There's, there's some good ones that I can't remember, but there's some good ones. And some really, like, creepy jazzy music. I love it. Becoming increasingly more like a horror film, yeah. Like a sort of going into some, go find some hicks in Resident Evil 7. Some hick people in some, is hick a derogatory term? I think it probably is, but I've also heard people with that kind of accent, I'm not going to do the accent, you know the accent, refer to themselves as hicks. So I don't know if that's like a, an N-word situation where they've, they've taken that word into their own community or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to presume that I should probably not say it. So I, I won't say it. Picking up all the all the pizza in the world and fighting more people who have less health. Yes, where were you people? That kind of worked. They're, yeah, no. Gotta be on the same plane as them or something. I can't do the wrestling move. It's not working. That's not fair. Don't like your game. Kick you in the face and do more wrestling moves. 
Oh, there we go. Everybody's happy. The world is a better place. The world will continue to turn as normal uh, and other nice things will happen. The world did change. It's not that it refused to change. It very much wanted to change. It was very much in its, in its, uh, in its plans to change or something. Do some big swings because they are very, very useful. Because they do so much damage! Wow. That was very effective. That should be the boss fight, I'm not sure. Getting a an iOS software update. Not, a, not in the middle of recording. That'll be, you know, I don't know how long how long it'll go on for. 25 to 49, that's hilarious. That's also like an outhouse, very much in this kind of area. The music has been going ham for a very long time. Now, I, I, I felt like I heard a guitar solo in there. I think it probably is doing a guitar solo, so... Um, let's continue, regardless. Give the guitarist a rest, I feel. <laughs> I have no idea. Love it. Spooky house. We were nearer the steps when we pressed A, I remember. I was there for that bit. Most rooms in Resident Evil 7 look like this. I'll fight it. I've got better weapons in this game. Not even a slow close, maybe like a eee slam. Just a slam. <gasps> you are about to be knifed by Elvis. I mean, I'd rather have a beam katana than a gun. <laughs> Even with that thing looking at me? Psychotic fucker. Time for a little pro bono ghost busting. I mean, you don't, you don't necessarily know it's a ghost. I think you're presuming it's a ghost. Or we're taking the, uh, the arc, arc, arcusic point thing a bit, a little bit too, a little bit too much to heart or something. I'm just, oh, he's got Molotov cocktails. I was wondering what it was doing. I think that was like a sort of, a vague attempt at trying to, oh, fires. Fires are not fun. I guess this is why the preceding area had all the fat people or the people with, with, with large bone mass or something, depending on how which way you want to, we want to take that. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh, we're, we're staggered. Very much staggered. Okay. I thought we dodged that. A little bit confusing. But, um, yeah. Okay. I, I did dodge. I, I was thinking we couldn't really dodge around large pillars which are in our way. Okay. Sometimes works. Sometimes works. Wanna do a. No, that's a charge move. Um, <laughs> still looking to do a dark step. Okay. Dark steps kind of work. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I just so desperately want- that's a charge attack, okay. Does l loads of damage. Don't fall foul of the charge attack! There's so much damage! You're gonna be hurting real bad. Should also try and char- yeah. Time these dodges a bit better. A little bit better. That takes a little bit of time to come down. It's a bit of a problem. Oh, yeah, that's a really big problem. I don't know if it's hurting me, I don't think it is, but... Uh, oh, the collar- the col the collar tails! The collar tails, why are they here? Monot of coil tails. Collar tails are really annoying. I'm wagging so fast. Don't you don't you tell me that was wrong. I was doing so much wagging. How much more wagging can the Wii U take? Or the Wii take, because it's technically what the oh, okay. Where's the health? <laughs> I'm retreating. I'm retreating for a little bit. Oh, we can only retreat for so far. Oh, I'm stunned. Wake up, you son of a bitch. Wake up. There you go. I'm running away. Can't even escape. I'm looking for health. Health is all the way over here, that's fine. This house. Very, uh, it's very much, very much reminiscent of a lot of things, but I, I guess it's kind of what this game is going for, with locations and ideas from other genres and games on, hello, and other, you know, influences from far and wide, or something like that. Slow attacks are actually not bad. Maybe the, maybe the, the fast combos are not as good as I give them credit for. 
Where are you even hiding these? Where where are they coming from? Where do they go? Something about cotton edge or I don't know. It's kind of with the territory I feel. I don't know. Stop laughing at me. I'm trying to do like a I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate any of this. None of this. Still looking for a dark step or uh, keep wake it up. Wake it up. Do a do a whatever that was. I think just a normal dodge or an emergency dodge. The emergency dodges are very strange because it's kind of I guess in their name that you can't really chain a combo together. Like you do a dodge and then there's a a very long period of time. Oh, that was good. Very long period of time before you can actually do anything afterwards. Like in, not input lag. There's a there's a Smash Bros. competitive Smash Bros. term for it where like you have to wait a like a half second for to be able to actually do anything afterwards is my point. He's not a joke. He's a very scary. He's a very naughty boy. He's a very naughty boy. He's a very scary little man, and he has so much health, which is proving to be a problem. You come out of that doorway. Can't get close to you. You're just gonna you're gonna keep being really annoying. That's fine. This fight is not that hard. I'm sure I may have made I've made it look a little bit harder than it actually is. Oh, excuse me. It's all the. Oh, excuse me. Oh God. Oh god, I'm exploding. I'm exploding over here. It's happened when you load up on coffee just before you do a recording, and then nothing comes out, and then everything comes out! Oh, and there's fire! Why is there so much fire? Don't like it. Don't like you being in a doorway either, it's really inconvenient for me. You wanna go upstairs? I'll show you the bedroom. I'll show you the bedroom in your own house, because that makes loads of sense. You being in there is a really bad idea for everybody. So, you tell me when you wanna come out of there, and then maybe we'll, we'll strike, up an, strike up an agreement. Why can't I slash this table? I'd like to slash this table. Game, fix it. Um, maybe I'll just dodge through you. I Claustrophobic is, is how I describe this fight so far, and that's not a good thing. Maybe good in a horror game because it builds up tension, but tension is not necessarily good when there's no horror elements at play, and there is none at play. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know! <laughs> Why are we fighting in the kitchen? We could, we could cook something in the kitchen instead. Don't, don't, don't be dizzy. Don't be dizzy, wake up. Don't be dizzy. Don't be throwing cocktails at me. Okay. Maybe don't fight in the kitchen. Oh, look at him. He can't get past the barrel. Oh, no. He sat on me. Or nearly sat on me. I lost one of the shaky shakes. Oh, we're like very nearly dead. I was shaking like a madman. So I'm not entirely sure what the game wants me to do. But I was shaking like a madman. I'm going to lose some health, I think. Oh, we're dead. So I'm actually getting more success by doing the... No. Uh, more. More. Shake it more. Shake it so much. That's what I failed on before. I don't know why I was shaking it like I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if that was audible, but it felt like it might have been. And I'm shaking so hard, it it for some reason failed last time, and it didn't like me. Didn't didn't like me failing, and did so much damage to me. What I was gonna say before I got into that is I'm doing, I'm uh, getting a lot more done by doing low stance combos. So maybe that's a good idea. And rolling out or trying to roll out the way. Very claustrophobic this fight, very hard to get out of the way when the game doesn't want you to get out of the way. Get out of the way! Oh, I'm gonna shake it so fucking much! Oh, shake it! Or maybe I want to go around in a circle. Is that what the game wants me to do? That's what it's asking me to do. Maybe I should try doing that instead of just shaking it round and round in like a madman. Actually round in a circle. Maybe that's not a bad idea. One of these, and then the low combo is so much better. Way better. Way better! Okay. Way better. Oh, I just gotta... He's got very... Obviously te telegraphed attacks. There is a, a certain amount of Dark Souls in here, so maybe if you're good at Dark Souls This would be a piece of cake. I'm not good at Dark Souls, so there's the problem there I also got Molotov cock. That wasn't a Molotov cocktail. I thought he was. He's got a flamethrower at the end of that Which I don't think I've shown that actually being used, but it's really annoying as is the Molotov cocktails I can't even say the word anymore. The Molotov cocktails cocktails. Also my tiger's gone limp. Oh, why is my ti tiger? I'm gonna be angry. Look at that flamethrower. There's really weird things to the, the visual effects on screen, but it doesn't really, you know, not that hard to avoid. So, just be very far away from it when he starts doing it and do- No, no, oh, it, there's a double combo in there. Don't appreciate that, sir. No, I don't. More collar- more, more collar tails. More cauliflowers. Why are you throwing more cauliflowers? I can't- <laughs> I don't have a clue. I want to go him into attack and then sidestep. And then low combos, yeah, the low combos are so good. And then one of these, yeah, does so much damage. Get on the floor, like a dinosaur, yeah, baby, yeah. Smash him, keep him down, don't, get out of the, get out of the hallway, get out of the hallway. I don't like it, come over here again. I'm not, I'm not gonna fight you until you come over here, I'll slice up some furniture. Is this your house? Are you just, like, living here? Are you squatting? 
It's very strange. Hello. Oh, it's, it's squatting. Squatting is the right term. I think I'm of hermits. Hermits is the noun. Squatting is the verb. It's about right. Yeah, you can't hit me. Fire doesn't travel that far. Unless, of course, there is a high level, high concentration of oxygen in the air, and I don't think there is somehow. I'm gonna run away, and then low combos! Oh, the low combos are so good! Why? Why did I try? Oh, God. Why did I try so hard? And then, or why did I spend so long trying to get the, the high combos down when this is just way better? Oh, wow. Don't even bother with the high combos anymore. <laughs> little bit scary, little bit creepy. Little bit unnecessary, but I guess this is where we're going. Full power. Round in circles or something. Round in circles? Or like that. Upright and round in circles. Or wag from side to side. Or flat and in circles. I don't know. It's very confusing. No one tells me anything. It's very, you know, I don't like it. <laughs> anyway. Drink more coffee. Well, that was gross. What? What's a kid doing here? I'm going to kill you. What's that? <laughs> Whoa, she did a thing. She did something. Wow. It's incredible. <laughs> this is the problem with fighting the supernatural. You cannot kill someone who's already dead. Already dead? Okay. Are you on the pipe? Such a horrible past. Thirty years ago, that child was abandoned, left to die in this house. As the story goes, he made a pact with the devil with his final breath. Revived through the dark arts, the child murdered his parents and now rules this forest, feeding on suffering and hate. All assassins have fucked up somehow, or we wouldn't be in this profession. Nothing surprises me anymore. Now you are ranked 24th. Still a ways to go until the top. You are not getting tired? Huh. I haven't even broken a sweat. Why don't you bring me a real challenge? <laughs> You've got it. Only died about three times. Like, one of them to, you know, someone who's about 18 years old. It's very embarrassing. The thing I was going to point out, if he's dead and is super supernatural, then how do you get in a state where you have killed him, you have assassinated him, and therefore we can take his ranking on the Assassin's Association Board of Hierarchy shit? So, yeah, did we kill him? We didn't really kill him, he was a little boy, he was a little supernatural guy, so technically he isn't dead. Technically he is still ranked 24, and technically we are still a, a what was Sylvia's term for us? 25 ranked scrubs or something? We're not very good, is my point. Um, <laughs> I would like to buy that new- that newish beam katana from, uh, Naomi, because I think I remember it, and I think I remember it being a slow weapon, but a really strong one, and I feel like it would be nice if we had that for that fight, because slow attacks are important and very nice. I told you last time about the gateways, remember? The second Akashic point leads to an even stranger place. A prison floating on the sea. Shut down long ago. In daylight, it's only ruins. But when night falls, you can hear a woman's tragic scream. A cry so chilling that birds go mad, caking the ocean surface with their dead bodies, drowning themselves to escape her cry. Not all of the island's prisoners have been moved. You don't have to believe me. You can believe what you want. She's just trying too hard at this stage. I mean, I get the supernatural stuff. If she's retelling a story, then yes, I'd like to hear about the story. It's me. I have set up your next battle. Check out the map and go when you please. Oh, and by the way, until you crack the top 10, you are responsible for all travel expenses. The association can't pay for everyone with the price of gas and all. You got it? Hold up, I'm shelling out all this cash and you can't spring for bus fare? I'm busy, got to go! Don't hang up on me! Ugh. 
I feel like this video game is just one endless thumbnail for YouTube because that's kind of what it is at this stage. But this has been Rampant Luigi, this has been Let's Play No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. We go over here uh, in this corner, we've got first person view or anything or any button we can press. Don't think there is, but there's like a... I guess a Molotov cocktail from the fight or something. So yeah, very simple. In the next episode, we're going to go fuck about until we get enough money. How much we got? Nearly 200,000. Don't need that much more. We're gonna go fuck about in the overworld and get some money so we can buy a new beam katana. Probably train ourselves up a bit more so we don't keep dying in boss fights because that seems I'd like to not do that from now on. It looks bad on me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.